You've got Rich with AOK Product Reviews. Some people call me Dick Richie. You can call me whatever you want. I think it keeps you moving and shaking. Because I can't see shit. I want to see... I want to see what knives you guys are carrying these days. Let me let my dogs out. I'm... Okay. So, of course, we're going to fall back into the Gen X thing here. So if you're a Gen Xer and I'm 54 years old, there was a time when you were a child and you were like maybe under 10 and there was a cartoon in our case, Godzilla, Tron. And those aren't, those weren't cartoons. Those were, that was cinema. All right. Tron. But then there's cartoons, Speed Racer, Tom and Jerry, Yogi the Bear. What else? There were so many, right? Roadrunner. You know, you're just a little kid. You don't understand what a TV guide is. So, me, I didn't have a good TV calendar in my head. So, I never knew what show was going to be on, when it was going to be on. It was just by luck. I would be sitting on the couch eating a bowl of cereal, watching Phil Donahue. Yeah, wasn't watching it. It was just on because you just watched whatever was on a channel that came in best. And you're just watching something stupid and then boom, here comes Tron. And you're like, holy crap, Tron's on. It's like, it's a surprise. Everyday TV was a surprise. I could not imagine being a kid today and having a cell phone or a smart TV and being able to just select whatever the hell I wanted to watch when I wanted to watch. Such a luxury. Such a luxury. You know, I wasn't probably the brightest kid when it came to that. That's for sure. I had my... I had my moments where I was probably in certain areas in TV. I was not, I was not good at it. I could not keep track of what was going to be on, when it was going to be on. Didn't understand schedules, nothing. It was all luck, just luck. And I'm not sure what got me there. I guess that's all I got to say about that folks. And I don't know. I don't know what got me there. But I was talking about being a Gen X and TV and not being able to know what was going to be on next and whatever. Oh, circle back. I circled myself back. Sometimes I have to circle my wagons. Yeah. And then actually, you know, I realized the fight I'm in. And the fight I was in was, was that I sometimes was forgetting the day just the tip live stream would be on the YouTube. And they every Tuesday at eight o'clock central, they have a live stream podcast, which is going to be Uncommon EDC and Tim School Fish. And they get good guests. They get like, I mean, they get knife makers. They had uh, Aries EDC on there last night. Wow, that was a lot of fun listening to this guy talk about knife making, you know, amateur knife making into what would now be professional knife making. He's got his own brand and he's making knives and they're pretty awesome. You know, a lot of them are like smaller knives, but I'm watching my, my boy Timmy on there and they're talking about different knives that they don't have. And Timmy doesn't have a mini Vosti nightshade. Are you kidding me, Timmy? You know I have one. Why didn't you say, give me yours, Rich? That's all you got to say, Timmy. And it's yours. It's yours. Tim, I'll be sending this out to you uh, probably next week because i am got a lot of stuff going on. But I'll be shooting this awesome little knife, and it is now your knife. Tim School Fish, this is going to be reviewed on his channel, and we're going to see how he feels about this miniature version of the Vosti Nightshade. And I'm going to tell you right now, I like it a lot. And I'm going to be sad to see it go. But I know it's going to a good home. And uh, me casa, su casa, the shirt off my back is the shirt on Tim's back. I don't care. This is now Tim's knife. So today we talked about the Pago, Maguron, Fosti, just the tip live stream. A little bit about Gen X and not understanding how to read a TV guide when you're under 10 years old or whatever age I was. I mean, I carried that on into my teens. Yeah, it was tough. 
you know, you just got lucky. My thumb's starting to feel better just by, you know, that's the therapeutic magic of pocket knives and flicking them and playing with them. It makes your broken thumb feel better. Look, I am flipping this knife with a broken thumb and it's not broken. It's just swollen and very sore and hurts, hurts. But I'm a big boy. Ah, oh, that's the best I can do. All right, so there you have it, folks. Today, I just wanted to talk about this. I've got one more new knife left to talk about. It's not here, it's over there. And it is the Kaiser Sparrow. We'll be talking about that later this week. Uh, maybe next week, I'm not sure. Just doing what I do when I do and I, that's how I do. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Timmy, this will be coming your way with a bent tip.